Let's talk about integrating power cards and power apps to the Viva Connection employee experiences. And Sapreet is going to do a live demo. I'm going to just position a bit about what was Viva Connection again uh, and how does this story uh, uh, ties into the Viva Connection employee experiences, corporate communication and the storytelling of, of the company integration options. So uh, a lot of, lot of opportunities here. This is a new capability which is not quite yet available as we are recording this demo, uh, but it's starting to roll out relatively soon. Uh, and should be available by end of this calendar year for all of the customers. Calendar year meaning 2024 calendar year. But let's start with a quick recap, just the positioning uh, on the Viva Connection. So Viva Connection is part of currently part of our employer communication and community uh, setup, uh, which is basically SharePoint, Viva Amplify, Viva Engage, and Viva Connection. And they kind of all have a their own storyline within our employee uh, engagement platform. So making it sure that corporate communications works and there's this kind of a me approach for your relevant applications for you as an end user uh, accessing things and then the community to uh, Viva Engage. The Viva Connection is really the people-centered and branded employee experiences across all of the device types. So you can kind of think this uh, as the me-centered uh, access point for all of the relevant applications within your company. Um, so the intranets uh, and is a corporate communication thing. Viva Connection really focuses about on you. So providing relevant application for you as an individual. So you can find your relevant tools and apps from a one centralized location. You can customize, of course, this based on branding and settings and configuration uh, based on the company brands and company settings. And, and it can be personalized. Um, and that means that you can actually target the relevant car and relevant functionalities based on the roles and individuals who are watching or accessing the application. A lot of opportunities there. Now, quick positioning. Uh, we always try to recap on this one because we're like, wait, wait a minute. We have the SharePoint. Yes, SharePoint is your top intranet. That's the cool custom intranet, which is pixel perfect storytelling. And that's the company brand, uh, what the company is all about. Navigate my entire company. And again, the Viva Connection is how do I'm part of that company? How can I access my personal news and relevant information within the company, which is relevant for my role and my responsibilities? So my employee experiences, my application, my resources, and of course that connects directly to the internet as well. And all of this can be branded uh, based on the, the uh, company settings and branding and all of that stuff. A lot of, lot of opportunities uh, in here as well. Now, quick recap on the inter integration uh, of the cards. Today we're going to talk about the new integration option. Uh, but uh, we have the no-code option, and in here you're basically linking to the Teams app, or you can link to the Power Apps as well. So you can imagine uh, the Viva Connection dashboard to be showing the relevant Power Apps for your role uh, or your com your company specific roles. And frontline workers might have different set of Power Apps or Teams apps uh, in the dashboard, and then uh, different people in the financials might have, might have a different set of uh, uh, applications available there. So having that kind of a root grouping in one centralized dashboard uh, makes uh, provides value for customers. You can also create low code uh, capabilities. So you can approach to customize the Viva Connection using low code story. This is where you do a static adaptive cards. Adaptive cards can be also powered by advanced APIs uh, capabilities. So you can hit a graph API making that adaptive card to actually uh, uh, dynamic based on the data of the user. And then we have the power card support and we're looking in the Copilot Studio support also in the future. Today, the really the story here is the power card and power app support, which we're gonna do, uh, gonna see live within a second. And then the third option is the pro developer storytelling, uh, where we actually use the SharePoint framework to build the cards, uh, and those cards can be then surfaced in the Viva Connection uh, or in SharePoint, and, and more broadly actually in the SharePoint in the future even. And then we have the store model for ISVs. So if you're on ISVs, you can build cards which any customer can acquire and then pay uh, money for you as they're acquiring that from the store. And those are deployed directly to the tenant level. So it's not an end user capability because it's acquired and centrally managed by IT. But today uh, we're going to focus on actually seeing first time live using power cards and power apps in the Viva Connection dashboard. And Sapreet is here to actually show us what that means in practice. Sure. So, hey everyone, I'm Sapreet, an engineer in the Viva Connections team. Really excited to be presenting for the first time to our community. And uh, in accordance with Murphy's Law, my desktop just shut down right now and it uh, just started again. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let me walk you through an overview of the power cards for Viva Connections feature. Uh, firstly, the what. 
So Viva Connections is a single pane of glass for all your company apps. And we want to enable customers with power platform investments to be able to reuse their investments for either creating new solutions or building their existing solutions to Viva Connections. Uh, if you're familiar with PowerFX, you can easily create Viva Connections apps through Power Cards, which otherwise would have required knowledge of SharePoint Framework or the Bot Framework. Uh, and as, a, as Vesa mentioned before, if you want to achieve something similar right now, you could paste a deep link to the Power App through the web link card. Uh, through this new feature, we want to enable you to build a more tightly integrated solution for Viva Connections so that users can perform quick actions through the Viva Connections dashboard itself. Uh, so now let me walk you through what Power Cards are and how we are planning to uh, integrate them in Viva Connections. Uh, I, so to so use Power Cards or to create Power Cards, you navigate to the make.powerapps.com portal. You select cards from the pane. Uh, I've already created a card called Patient Record. Let me play it for you. Uh, so uh, this is a dataverse based card that lets you complete the micro task of registering a new patient or creating an appointment for an existing patient. Uh, right now, this card can be added to Teams through either directly copying a link or through Power Automate Flow. Uh, here's how the card looks like when shared in Teams chat. So you can share it. Uh, people can perform small tasks like approvals or in this case, creating or managing patient appointments. Uh, and now how we are planning to add this card to Viva Connections dashboard. So we have added one more option here called Enable Card in Viva Connections. This lets you uh, deploy the card as a quick view in Viva Connections. So firstly, you'll go to this, make the play page, you'll test out your card, and once you are satisfied, you'll click Enable Card in Viva Connections. Uh, now, usually the power card lives for a limited time, which is 60 days. After you enable it for Viva Connections, it will stay up indefinitely. So you don't need to worry about it being cleaned up. So I'll press enable. The link gets copied and then I'll go to my Viva Connections dashboard. Uh, I'll edit the page. This looks like I need to refresh. Uh, and in add a card, I search for Power Apps card. Uh, I can open up the property pane and I will paste the link that I just copied. Uh, the title description etc. will get auto populated if provided. I can choose to configure a button that will open up the quick view. And I can also audience target this card to specific audiences in my organization. Uh, now, once I republish the card, here is how it'll look like on my Viva Connections experience. So we go ahead and refresh. Yeah, here is the card that I just uh, added. Uh, this is the micro app. So let me just walk through creating an appointment uh, for a patient that just walked in. Uh, I can choose one of the options here is to in check up, click the date, date Yeah, so this is how we can add existing power cards to Viva Connections. Uh, next, let me give you a bit of overview about the cards maker experience. Uh, just to walk you through some basic functionality of what all is provided by the cards. So firstly, uh, this maker experience is very similar to the Power Apps maker experience. You can drag and drop UI elements and then write uh, low code business logic using PowerFX. Uh, next, your data. Data can be added through these connectors as of now. Uh, right now, for Viva connections, we are just supporting the Dataverse connector. And of course, in Dataverse, you can ingest data using uh, external sources as well, like SQL, Salesforce, etc. Uh, another feature of Power Cards is screens. So we can have multiple screens built using adaptive cards. So this is the first landing screen. This is another appointment screen. This is a patient registration screen that I created. Uh, and using Power Effects, you can write your business logic for button clicks. You can also write, you can also control the text and other elements like visibility using the Power Effects. Uh, let me uh, show how. We can add uh, and uh, or make changes to this card. So for that, I'll simply add a button to my card. Uh, suppose I already have a Power App built that does the 
more complicated task associated with the patient record system. So I will select the open URL action and I'll paste the power of URL here. And save it. Play it again. Now, once I'm satisfied again with my changes here, I'll again click enable card in Viva connections. Uh, and so one thing to note here is since this card has already been added, I do not need to copy and paste the link again. So whenever users uh, open the dashboard one more time, which I will simulate by refreshing the page, they will automatically see the latest changes. Yeah. Uh, and another feature that we have for the Power Apps card is that in the edit experience, you can also choose to paste links to your Power Apps. So in case you want to directly have a deep link to your Power Apps, you can do so. You can just paste the link here. Uh, also, uh, you can add your existing Power Cards to Power Solutions where it can be coupled with other Dataverse, tables, uh, flows, etc. Okay. That is all from my side. So this is how you can leverage Microsoft's low code platform for viewer connection solutions. Thank you, Vesa. Over to you. Excellent. Thank you, Prati. Uh, Saprit on that one. Really, really cool. Uh, that's a super, super capability. And just to also show a kind of a recap, of course, all of this works in a mobile as well. So because Viva Connection is really targeted not only for the desktop, um, but also for the mobile. Uh, so you can access all of that capabilities and power apps and power cards directly in a mobile as well and being rendered uh, in a mobile view. This is directly taken from my uh, iPad. I uh, iPhone and uh, just to demonstrate uh, how things are working there as well. So as we're rolling out this new feature, uh, you can start uh, also exposing power apps and power cards directly within the Viva connection in the Viva uh, in the employee experiences platform. So you can combine mix and match depending on uh, what what are the skill sets and what are the applications your company is using uh, uh, in specific for your company. So there's multiple, multiple different options. And we'll definitely do uh, additional demos, additional storytelling, documentation, all of these options as the feature is fully rolled out. Uh, as said, as this demo was presented, uh, the feature was not yet fully out for all of the customers. But thank you, Saprit, uh, on a great demo uh, on how to do that in practice as well. Really, really cool.